Snowfall's coming up on their six. Imikard's facing Snowfall with the Bren right gun. Snowfall's area. starting to close the distance. Finally, an effective grenade. Shamu is down. Sizu is this week's video is from a Squad Ops One Life event where I was playing as a German defender against a British attack. And I think I might go into shoutcasting as a part-time gig. Let me know what you think. I think they're going to come south, use this vegetation ORP somewhere in the wood line, and then move along the trench to, to clear from south to north. I have a suspicious feeling that they're swinging south through the vegetation. Do you have eyes? Or no, just, no. I just, is just, I just gotta... possibly called something. Okay. It's just the spiky senses of tingling, that's all, yeah. that's all it is. Just because I feel like we would have spotted them going north. Yeah. Like at least caught a glimpse. Uh, I think they're going to swing south, ORP and the vegetation down there to our south, and then just big push with Artie and Smoke from south to north. Break, break, break. Contact, contact to our east. My east. Distance there they are. 150 meters. Um, I got eyes. Do you want to relocate? Please, 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 oh. please let us relocate, or our ass is going to be exposed. They're on the first leg of that head-shaped road. Yeah, they're crawling to my due east. Definitely full squad. Direction of the qu crawling? Concerned. Crawling north. Roger. They're on the E on Roland's deck. Roland's deck. <laughs> they're doing exactly what I thought they would do. That can't be it though, right? Like, that's the maneuver element. Where's the support by fire going to be? Show you guys engaged. Beware is down. Beware is down. Beware. Yeah, we need to potentially relocate Nova Squad. Our ass is exposed to them. Please uh, just orientate south, but have one guy still looking west. I'll get west. You guys watch southeast. That's a brain gun. Uh, is that a brain gun suppressing? South. That's me. That's me. South. Yeah, I see them maybe not. Here comes incoming. We're gonna have HE and, and smoke momentarily, guys. I heard the gun shoot. Here comes the fucking push from the south. Fuck. God. As predicted. Probably south of you as well. Oh, I see him moving. Because like he'll be where Keep an eye on the southwest. Keep an eye on the southwest, Nova. Yep, they're pushing up to the smoke. There's like a whole squad. They're in the smoke now. They're going to be breaching momentarily to enter your building, squad lead. So I died right there. There's my body. Nova and Scott are still getting it right here. This flank. Nova, how are you doing? Oh, uh, the entire. Uh, we lost one. We're too effective, but we're uh, dealing more casualties than we're taking. Good job, brother. They are all over you. Ooh. Squad leader. Yeah, Golly, man. Look at that. The whole team made it in there. One, two, very nice shooting. Oof. All right, they know we're here. Yeah, yeah, South they do. Side. <laughs> Let's go check on our boys. Ah, uh, they were killed. So we lost that LPOP battle position on to the west. Well done. Patrick Starr still holding down. Upper floor of the objective compound. Nuclear Twister still in here as well. Patrick Starr has the Panzerfaust out, looking for an opportunity to score a few kills with that casualty producing weapon. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six enemy killed in action at the breach. A seventh on the side, lawn darts and razor over here crawling around on their bellies. I'm sure they understand that the building is still occupied by the Germans, but they have not elected to push in yet. Perhaps they're waiting on more elements to, to come to their aid. There's at least no moving. Ronin, G Man, and Dorf still occupy an observation position over here to the rear. Ronin, the team commander, I believe. 
is just looking at the objective area, trying to spot stuff. He's got G-Man, his radio guy, and then Dorf is taking some shots. He's got an opportunity here to get Nuclear Twister. He does manage to eliminate him. Excellent shot. That means there's only Patrick Starr for the Germans left defending the objective structure. He's got reinforcements off to his north. Headbuster, Alex, and Groot still hold that down. Lawn darts starting to creep around to the north of the structure as well. Still taking his time. Patrick Starr, if he just peeked that window, would have the chance. And look at this. Ooh. Vlad Putin managed to uh, get himself killed. Kind of aggressively maneuvering in between Razor and Lawn darts. Looked like he may have actually seen Razor and gone for the kill, but got interdicted as he attempted to do so. Lawn darts is still holding down that position. Patrick Starr upstairs, still the only guy defending the compound that is remaining. I don't think that the Brits fully realize that they could very easily take out Patrick Star and only Patrick Star if they were careful about how they went about doing it. Lemon Tart goes down from an MG42 burst. Headbusta has established that attack by fire position. He is wounded. Or is that Alex with the MG42? Yep, it's Headbuster right here. With the MG42, he's killed one. Shamu and Imikart still hanging in there, still alive. Uh, Patrick Starr remains the only defender in the structure. And we've got the Brits are slowly surrounding the building. They're picking angles and holding corners, being very cautious and rightfully so. Patrick Starr continues to hold down the fort upstairs. Lawn darts is right outside. If either of these guys, you know, took the opportunity to peek, look at this. Patrick Starr with the Panzerfaust out and levied on the door, which I, I respect it. But if he stepped forward and peeked to his left and just checked that corner, he would have the opportunity to take out Lawn Darts. Of course, he may actually sacrifice the element of surprise in his position in the structure by doing so. What else we got going on? Razor still making his way around the structure. Godzilla Pro also making his way around the structure now. Sizu's holding down an angle. German counterattack is now coming from the north with Chicken and Thank You, Thank You. Moving from north to south through that wooded area. Alex remains wounded over here. Groot is alive and now is engaging Razor with the MG42. Shamu and Emma Carter are making a move. They pop smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smoke's right, smoke's right. And they have effectively broken contact. They've been pinned down by that MG42 from Headbusta over here. Let's see how they do here. So Headbusta knows there's enemy in the area. Him and Groot both have eyes on this corner. They've got an MG42 levied at the area. And here Ronan bringing in smoke for his own push. G-Man is pushing in. That's Ronan's radio operator. Ronan is trailing right behind. Dwarf. Looks like he's prepping smoke or a frag. And he's creeping forward. We've got another engagement going on now. German counterattack coming in here. They're running straight into lawn darts. So they're in here, three? Let's see how this unfolds. We'll listen in. Ooh, there goes that Panzerfaust from Patrick Star. Lawn darts is out. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, your SL's reporting. He's That's command right now. He's close. reporting that they are taking this far. Yeah, that was overkill, but I, I respect it, Patrick Star. I respect it. He finally picked that corner that we were talking about. Ronan just went down. Looks like he was. Was that a. He fragged himself? Yeah, I think he did. Soccer, closer to the east. Patrick Star still the only defender. Dorf is going to peek the corner over here. He might have an opportunity to take a peek at Patrick Star internal. The German counterattack is effective. Patrick Star puts another round in the Mondars to make sure that he is in fact down. And Groot's going to come work this corner. If he comes around this corner, he's going to have a hell of an engagement on his hands. Let's see what the goes down here. Groot not knowing there's enemy to his south. Shamu's going to have a chance to engage here. Does he see him? He does. He does not. Ooh. Headbuster still has that MG42 looking at that corner, but he's looking the wrong direction. He'd have a chance to see Sizu right now, but he's not looking the right way. 
Thank you, thank you. Della Note and Tinkerbell are looking at breaching as we speak. Groot still taking a look around the corner. He and Sizu are remarkably close to one another, but still have not seen one another. He's going to continue moving. Looks like he might have a chance to, to put a flank on him. And then over here, we've got Snowfall, who also has worked an effective flank. Patrick Star still the lone defender inside the structure. And Emma Cart, Shamu, and Dorf now the only... Oh, look at this grenade. Ineffective but wounded. And Groot certainly spotted the enemy. He's prepping a frag right now. Frag goes out. It's a good throw, but it landed on a box. Maybe he wounded him a cart. Shamu's still up. These guys are now effectively pinned down. Groot also working the corner over here. We might be moments away from a confrontation between these two. And he missed the shot. Missed the shot. He's got to prep another frag. Thank you. Thank you. Also working that corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch out. Someone's... The grenade was overthrown. We have Dorf that's actually up on the roof to the right. Groot and Chicken and thank you, thank you are all working the corner right now. They know exactly where the enemy is. A frag goes out and it lands on top of the roof. It's going to be ineffective. Oh my gosh. Snowfall's coming up on their six. Imikard's facing Snowfall with the Bren gun. Snowfall's starting to close the distance. Finally, an effective grenade. Shamu is down. Sizu's wounded. Emicard is wounded. No. And all three of them are down. Dorf, Dorf is still on top. He's going to end up in an engagement with Patrick Star. Patrick Star makes the shot. I think somebody I killed the guys inside here. The guys inside. What a fight. What a fight. That was outstanding. GG. You might be wondering how I managed to predict the direction of attack that the enemy chose to use during this fight. Well, the explanation to how I went about doing that is in this video where I use real military tactics to describe how to analyze a tactical situation. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on my Discord channel so that we can enjoy a game together sometime soon. Thanks.